Hello and welcome to the fourth part of the video series on web development with Identity Manager. I am Hanna Bunyas. I am with One Identity on the API and UI development team. Today I'm going to speak about the API server. The API server is a general purpose HTTP server designed to expose APIs to read and write data from the Identity Manager database. Out of the box, the API server already provides an extensive API designed to read and write everything that we need to drive our HTML5 applications. However, as the Identity Manager data model is extensible, the API also needs to be. So today we're going to look at what the API server is, how it is installed, how it's configured through the API server's own configuration layer, and we're also going to look at how we can extend the API server's API by writing our own .NET plugins. Please note that in this part, we're not going to be using Angular. And the reason for that is Angular is just a front-end technology, whereas the API server provides the backend that the front-ends can communicate with and integrates with the .NET-based backend of Identity Manager. If we take a look at what an environment looks like, the API server is one of the server components in an environment. By the way, it is separate from the application server, so please don't mistake one for the other. So as with the rest of Identity Manager, there is always a development environment, a testing environment, and a production environment. And whatever you do, development work only ever happens in the development environment and never in the production environment. Looking at installation, specifically on Windows, you have the option to install it on a Windows server that has IIS, Internet Information Services, installed. There is an installation tool that guides you through the various steps, reachable from the launchpad directly. There is also a command line tool that does the same thing and you can set all the various parameters through command line parameters. By the way, with Identity Manager version 9.3, which is planned to be released in September of 2024, we will have a couple of more options because we will be based completely on ASP.NET Core, uh, which will give us more hosting options and specifically the ability to run natively on Linux. With the ability to run natively on Linux, we also get the ability to run uh, Docker containers and bypass the installation tool altogether. In a development environment, the easiest and best way is to have just one local API server running. Later on, as you move through testing and production environments, you can scale up and run multiple API servers in parallel. Because of the way that the software distribution works, all of the API servers are connected to the same software repository to make sure that all the servers run the same set of code and the same binaries. From an Identity Manager technical perspective, this means that we will use the software loader tool to upload the binaries, the DLL files that we are building into Identity Manager, into the central repository. These will then be distributed out to all the various servers by way of the software update mechanism. There will be another video that talks specifically about this part. So once we uh, finish the installation of the API server, you will have a folder on your server that's, that looks somewhat similar to this, uh, just with a number of uh, root folders. Um, one is the updata folder, which contains uh, uh, lots of various files, basically the application cache. So you don't usually need to do anything in there. Uh, the most important one is the, the bin folder because that, that's where the actual code uh, of the API server lives, including uh, the API definitions. And once we get to extending the API and writing our, our own DLLs, this is where they will have to go. Now I'll take a look at the other option, which is to start an API server from the command line. And this actually does not require any installation or not even a server. You can do it from your local development machine as long as you have the Identity Manager client tools installed. So here's a folder that has a, an installation of the Identity Manager client tools. 
Uh, and if you open a uh, command prompt in, in, in that folder, the command to run is imx client run dash api server uh, dash b. Um, you start that and we connect to an application server. And now the API server will start up. It goes through its initialization phase. It builds the API. Uh, and after a moment, we see the uh, message that our API server is now running. And we have a local API server running on this local port.